So you might be trying to figure out how you can control someone else's screen on their iPhone by using a different iPhone. Now you can do this via FaceTime, but it only works on iOS 18 or above. So make sure you're on iOS 18 or above. There's a few things you're going to have to keep in mind. One, I think you need a passcode set up on your phone, which you probably already have. So make sure so make sure you have you know, your passcode or face ID. I wasn't able to get it working on one of my iPhones without a passcode, so keep that in mind. Number two, both iPhones will need to have their contacts on both their devices. So you will have to have your phone number saved or your email saved or whatever on both of the devices. If they're not on both, if you're FaceTiming some random person, it's not even going to work. So just keep that in mind. Now, when you're ready, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and start off a FaceTime call. So in this case, I can go and start off a FaceTime call with myself right here, and I will go ahead and accept it right here. So I'll go and take up this call, and I'll go and accept it. Now I'll go and put the volumes down on both. Hopefully it's not really too annoying. So what you're going to want to do is you want to start off on the one iPhone, and you want to share out the screen. So the iPhone you want controlled, you want to share the screen on that iPhone. So in this case, I'll share my screen. And then what you want to do is once it gets into the share screen panel, you want to swipe up and you want to get into your home screen. Now my other iPhone is giving me some Wi-Fi problems. So I finally got it. My iPhone 16 was giving me problems. But basically when you share your screen just like this, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and just make your way over from the FaceTime call. So share your screen, swipe up, and you're coming to your home screen. Now on the iPhone that you want to go ahead and basically have controlled, you basically want to go ahead and click on a button. So when you get into this panel, you should be able to see something that looks like this. So first of all, when you get into the phone call itself, it should show something like this. You want to tap onto the home screen. Now in the bottom right corner, you're going to see this little button. What you want to do is you want to go and tap onto this button. And on the other iPhone, you're going to see this pop-up come up. You want to go and click on allow. And you only want to allow if you actually know the person. Now at this point, you can go ahead and basically go through and actually tap on this iPhone right here, and you can now actually control this iPhone straight from this other device. So that's basically how it works. You can open up applications, you can go inside of the music app, you can swipe up, you can use this phone whatever way you want to. Now, if your iPhone is being controlled, if you're this person right here on the left, you can click on the stop button on the bottom left corner if you wanna stop it. You can also click on the bottom right corner of this iPhone being controlled to stop it as well. So you have two ways to you know stop it on either side. That's basically how you do it. Then from here, you can go and end the call. And that's basically how it works. <laughs> if you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.